Hi, I'm Kevin Michalowski, here to tell you that you're not smarter than John Browning. The 1911 pistol is probably the single most popular handgun produced over the last century. The design is more than 100 years old, and I get about six calls or emails a week with people complaining about how I portray the 1911 pistol in Concealed Carry Magazine. People always ask me, Kevin, why do you have that pistol cocked in the holster, ready to go? Because that's the way John Browning designed the 1911 pistol to be carried. And no matter how long you've handled guns, no matter what training you've went to, I don't think you're smarter than John Browning when it comes to his pistol design. The 1911 pistol was designed in the age of the cavalry soldier to be carried fully loaded, fully cocked, and with the frame mounted safety locked. Hence the term cocked and locked. This is condition one. This is the way you should be carrying the 1911 pistol. No matter what you've heard about other carry conditions, Carrying with the hammer down. Look it, I'm trying to get the hammer to drop right now. I can hardly do it. How do you want to carry your pistol for action? Do you want it hammer down on an empty chamber so that when you draw the pistol from your holster, first thing you have to do is cock it and then hope that the bad guy waits for you to catch up? No, I don't think so. Do you want to carry with the hammer down on half cock? Then you can't even engage the safety. The hammer is just hanging out there on the sear in half cock. And when you pull it out of your holster, you've got to try to get your thumb over the top and thumb cock that pistol to get ready to fight. Again, I don't think so. Fully cocked, safety locked, hammer all the way back, full magazine in the magazine well. That's the way the 1911 pistol should be carried. John Browning designed the 1911 pistol with several internal safeties and an external safety. First of all, safety number one, your trigger finger. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. You won't have any problems. Safety number two is the grip safety in the back. You have to be holding your firearm in a firing grip. The grip safety has to be completely depressed. And safety number three is the thumb safety right here on the frame. Press it down, that's the go switch. Up, safe, down, fire. One more time, up, safe, down, fire. Three different safeties get in the way of this gun, quote unquote, going off. I tell people all the time, a gun doesn't just go off, it has to be made to fire. And there are several steps you must take to make a 1911 action fire. Those are the basics of carrying the 1911 pistol. Fully loaded, fully cocked, with the safety on. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine, and you're not smarter than John Browning.